Hi all, today I'm showing you how to make my grandma's and my southern pot roast. It's my grandma's tradition and a little bit of mine. Ingredients you'll need. One pound of golden potatoes. Three to four pounds of a good chuck roast. Three tablespoons of tomato paste. Two cups of beef stock. One tablespoon of salt. One teaspoon of black ground pepper. One bay leaf. Six cloves of garlic. Two stalks of celery. A quarter cup of all purpose flour. Four to eight carrots. Two medium onions. Two cups of good red wine. And three tablespoons of vegetable oil. You'll need to preheat your oven to 325 degrees. Now I've already washed all the vegetables and herbs and I peeled the vegetables already. So first off, I'm gonna be um, tying the parsley and thyme together with cooking twine. It's food safe twine. That's very important. And then I just salt both sides really well of the pot roast, make sure it's well seasoned. And then I move on to cutting the carrots into pretty large pieces because it's gonna be in the oven for two and a half hours. You don't want it to turn to mush. So they need to be bigger pieces. And then I slice the onions into quarter inch thickness. You can do half inch if you want, but I find that quarter inch is just fine. And next I just smash the six cloves of garlic. And now I'm just gonna measure out two cups of good red wine. You want something you would drink. Um, it doesn't have to be expensive, but something you would drink. And then I'm measuring out two cups of beef stock. I wouldn't use beef broth, beef stock is better. It has a richer, deeper flavor. And over a medium flame, I am adding three tablespoons of vegetable oil into a Dutch oven. Now I'm just gonna use a quarter cup of flour to flour the outside of the pot roast. I'm gonna make sure that I get every visible um, surface of the pot roast covered in flour. This just helps um, thicken the sauce later on and when you're cooking it in the oven. Now my grandma was a Southern Baptist, so she didn't use alcohol at all. That is my addition using the two cups of red wine and of course the garlic. I like it, um, but if you want a really traditional don't add those things. Don't add the garlic or the red wine, and then you'll have completely all her recipe. But I think they're nice additions. So now I'm just gonna get a really good crust on this, and when I'm done, I'll flip it over. And once that's done, you're gonna pull it out completely when both sides have, have a nice crust on them. And then you're gonna put in the three tablespoons of tomato paste and you're gonna cook it off in the oil. And then you put the vegetables in. And you're gonna coat the vegetables in the tomato. Tomato oil, tomato paste oil. And once that's done, You're gonna add the red wine and beef stock. And next you're gonna add the smashed garlic. And then you're gonna put in the thyme and parsley and bay leaf. And now you're gonna nestle the pot roast down into the vegetables and liquid. And adding um, a teaspoon of ground black pepper. You can add less or more. It's really to taste. And then I just, you know, make sure the pepper is in there, mixing it well. And now I'm gonna put the lid on the Dutch oven and place it in the preheated 
oven. I've preheated it to 325 degrees and I'm going to cook it covered for two and a half hours in the oven. Next, I'm going to make mashed potatoes. I have just salted a quart of water. I have peeled a pound of potatoes and now I'm just quartering these potatoes and putting them into the water. And then I'm going to put them on the stove over a medium high flame and cook the potatoes until they're fork tender. And once this happens, I'll drain the water out of the pan and then return the pan back to the stove and add two tablespoons of butter and begin mashing. I don't have a proper potato masher. I use a whisk. And you salt to taste. And then I'm going to be adding a third of a cup of whole milk, a little at a time, and I stir together. And this is, I mean, sometimes they seem like they require more milk and sometimes less. I always just add a little at a time to make sure I don't uh, get them too soggy. And pull it out of the oven. And it looks beautiful. And I'm just going to put some mashed potatoes in the bowl. That looks so good. It tasted good too. And I'm going to serve it over, of course, a bed of mashed potatoes. Such a dog. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Ooh. This is the perfect fall meal. And this is what it looks like. It's absolutely delicious. I would also serve this with some crusty bread because there's that Jew is incredible. To help our channel grow, we're asking everybody to please like, subscribe, and comment. If you're enjoying our content, please consider becoming a subscriber. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps us out tremendously because of how the YouTube algorithm works. The more subscribers you have, the more they refer to you, and the more you grow. Without that, you stay hidden, and we want to grow. Thank you. I post videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, and we have a lot of content coming up for the holidays. Thank you all for watching. We're very grateful. Um, and to all of our subscribers, new and old, we couldn't do this without you. We're very grateful. I know it's starting to get cold in parts of the country, even some snow in some spots, I hear. So please stay warm. And as always, be blessed.